received an email from Frank in Oregon, and he asked, is there a free and inexpensive way to transfer MP3s from my Windows 2000 desktop to my Windows 98 laptop using a USB cable or some other way? Well, since you're asking about two computers, we thought we'd have two people do this segment using a, one piece of software and one cable. Here's our managing editor, Phil Allen. How are you doing, Christy? Yeah, Frank talks about something which is really in, very intuitive sounding, right? It would be... We have all these connections on the back of the PC, and they're the same as the connections on the back of another PC. Why shouldn't you be able to take a cable and stick one in one side and stick one in the other and have it just work? But USB doesn't work that way. The USB doesn't work that way. A serial port connection on the back of your PC doesn't work that way, and neither does the parallel. But that's where software like LapLink comes in. Yeah, well, you need some, some special hardware, no matter any of those methods that you want to try. Um, LapLink, in case people don't know, is pretty much the industry standard for connecting PCs and getting data from one PC to another, either over a network or connected. You got the box here. Here's the box here. Yeah. So, I mean, this is like, it's kind of it's a little bit corporate, um, probably in its focus, but uh, there are some consumer versions. They're trying to bring it back down. Too, okay. So. Fair enough. So, here's what you get you get a little bit of software. You're going to get a, uh, a USB cable that looks like this. And this is actually, it looks just like a cable, but in here, there's a circuit board. And so you need actual some special drivers to make this happen. So there's a little printed circuit board. It looks like your motherboard. Kind so of we've thing. got the software and the hardware. These two machines are connected? They are connected right now. Now, there's a little bit of uh, uh, stuff you got to do when you get it going. Right? Really? Yeah. I was kind of upset. And this is a little bit older version of LapLink. But uh, they tell you to install the drivers off the disk. They're not on the disk. They're on the website. You have to go there. Wow. And then even once you get that set up, now, here's, here's kind of where it's a little bit uh, sort of the networking mojo you got to get into. Uh, once you actually have it set up, you're going to get a local area network connection in your network settings. You have to go into the properties, pick the uh, Internet control property, and actually go in and give each of the machines an IP address. Okay, so you're setting up a network just between these two machines. Right, so it's, it's networking using a USB cable. Wait a minute. What doesn't make sense about that, and maybe you can show me what LapLink could do differently, mm -hmm. you could use a crossover cable, like a networking cable that's wired differently, to connect the two machines the same way. You could do that. It's, it's, uh, and actually, for Frank, it's a much less expensive way to do it because you need a crossover cable, which you can go and buy. It maybe cost you about 10 20 or 30 20 or $30, yeah. dollars, somewhere in there. Um, but what LapLink does, it's much more, uh, you're going to be able to not only do the connection locally, you can connect to your PC over the Internet. You can also take a remote control. There's a bunch of uh, um, nifty things, nifty things, yeah. security setups. So you go in. Let's make the connection over the network. We'll show how exa exactly how fast or not fast um, this is. Now it's much faster over USB than it was over the old uh, parallel or serial port cable. Probably about ten times faster. Now I'm going to log in here. So you're logging into your your laptop machine right now. Yeah, I've got the software running on both machines. They're both connected. Now it's going to see if it can now. Okay, we so you're file transfer. Now we've got all our, we can see all the folders and files. Let's just go and grab a couple of things. We'll take a look at how fast this is. Or uh, I'm going to drag There's them over. MP3s on the laptop to the desktop. This is exactly what he wanted it to do. This is exactly what he wanted to do. Drag and drop interface. Hit OK and it's going to do it. Now you're going to notice the uh, transfer rate is going to hit probably about uh, what's going to say 5 million DPS or it's about 5 megabits per second. Uh, that's not too bad, but it's not exactly the same speed as it, like well, what it would be on e a home network. Ethernet is, is 10 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second. So this is about half the speed of, of the slowest Ethernet. All right. Um, so then why would you want to get lap length then? Well, like I said, it does add some security features to it. Uh, you can get remote control. Now, this I'm actually going to be looking at a screen on my PC controlling my laptop. Oh, so really? I, I can actually okay. open, uh, I could open my email and read it if I was at work and at home and connected over the Internet. I could actually play. Uh, uh, but can't you do this with, like, VNC, which is absolutely free? Again. A, v a client. You're right. You're right. Um, the reason why people would go with LapLink, uh, like I said, it's been around for a really long time. It's really stable. It's not going to. Once you get it set up and working, it's going to work. You can set a bunch of user preferences in here so you can have different people come in and have different types of access to your machine. Okay. Some will be able to come in and just transfer files. Some will be able to have total control of the PC. Some are actually going to be able to install software over the network from one PC to the oh, other. So right. A lot more functionality. It's really robust. But you were right. For a simple file transfer um, in terms of lap link, I think it's too much. Yeah. Or you could do it even on a home network if you had a wireless access point. That's how you could do it wirelessly, you can transfer files 
Yeah. As long yep. as you have that access. So, when so you're people a, are going to see if they get if they place. get into this area and try and do this, they're going to run into lap link a lot. I'd say probably find some other way of doing it, uh, the crossover cable, if that's what you just want to do. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's or your a, home network is even better right. if you got one. Well, that's what it. we're saying. There's a lot of ways to do it. It's, this is not math class. This, there are definitely a lot of ways that you can approach this issue, and it shouldn't be a problem. And as, as Phil had said, there's, there's uh, quite a few options. In fact, you've listed them on the website. They are on right. the website. So if you need more help, just swing by there, techtv.com slash call for help.